What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're carrying on with our Regulation D content, but this time using a Overquill and Basculation Swift Swim Rain Team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. Considering we're about a week away from the rank ladder actually dropping for Regulation D. So I'm super excited for that considering I'm going to be dropping a bunch of teams that we used before, or I should say a bunch of Pokemon that we used before on better teams for the rank ladder. Because everybody knows casual and rank are two different two different playing fields completely two different playing fields but this seems really cool like i said you got the rain squad bachelors and overquill you got shen pal dragonite nurse Fu, really strong at the same time hopefully i get to showcase it to its fullest potential but first pokemon for today's team preview is the one and only overquill a pokemon who i have not used yet on the casual ladder it has swift swim and a choice band as its item it is dark and poison type with gunk shot self-destruct and the normal terror type liquidation and aqua jet shen pal is in our second slot I don't even need to say anything about that Pokemon. You guys have seen it plenty of times before. It is super, super strong. Third slot is going to be Bastion Legion, my favorite Pokemon that was actually released in Legends Arceus. It has Swift Swim and a Light Bulb as item, Rock and Protect, Last Respects, Wave Crash, and Aqua Jet. Dragonite is in our fourth slot with the multi scale and a skill scarf as its item, boosting its normal type damage. It has that normal type with E Speed to pair up with that Shen Pal. Then we got Aerial Ace, Outrage, Dragon Tail for its moveset. Fifth Pokemon is Urshifu, Choice Scarf, Water Urshifu. So you got Surge Strikes, you got Close Combat, you turn and Drain Punch, Unseen Fist to hit through Protects, and then like I already mentioned, that Choice Scarf to make it pretty much outspeed every single Pokemon. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy, Paloops, Pelipper over here, a great Pokemon at setting the rain with its Drizzle ability. It's got Damp Rock to make the rain last longer, and it's got Protect, Hurricane, Tailwind, and Wide Guard. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Overquill and Basket Legion Regulation D Rain Team. I'm feeling real good right now. It is Friday, just finished a long 40 hour work week. Now we're here recording, trying to kill it for you guys. If you guys want to support me a little bit extra, make sure you guys become a member to the channel. There should be a join button right below the subscribe button. If not, there is a link down in the description below to become a member. Huge shout out to all my members. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all the channel perks. But uh, first match coming at you guys, we're going up against a Regilecki and Tinglu team with Tornadus, Heatran, Urshifu, and last but not least, Gyarados. Um, I could actually go into Basket Legion here, Swift Swim. Actually, wow, that's wild that uh, Regilecki still outspeeds. I think both my Pokemon in the rain. But I feel as rain has to be set for me. I am going to go into Pelipper turn one. And I might also go in with like Choice Scarf or Spill. Could be really good for us. I might just do that. I might just go Choice Scarf. What are you guys' terror types? I could just self-destruct first turn. Not a bad, actually it's not a bad call at all. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Overquill. I am going to go Pelipper. I'm going to set the rain and I'm going to bring Basket Legion in the back end alongside Urshfield. So set the rain, try to get after it that way. Hopefully that Tornadus right there is not or does not have the move sunny day because then that that'd be a problem that'd be a problem that would ruin my whole rain squad i'm pretty much bringing in all water types trying to get after it with the rain and if they set the sun it's pretty much game set match and and, and it's over it's over for us but if not we have a we have a real good shot at winning this match so let's see who they end up leading it's gonna be gyarados and reggie so gary to gyarados alongside reggie and from here over cool shiny and he's massive for some reason i didn't think he was this big but he's gonna they're gonna drop my attack. Um hmm. I don't like to intimidate. I really don't. Um I could hurricane, could tailwind, could terrestrialize. Uh, I'm just gonna protect here. And you know what? I'm just gonna go into I go into a self-destruct. I could terrestrialize and pop a self-destruct. I'm about it. I'm all about it. Let's get off as much damage as we possibly can. Let's rip into it. So we're going for a terrestrialize self-destruct. I'm looking to do this. I'm looking to just get as much damage off as I possibly can. Kind of sucks that they did intimidate me and get the attack drop, but still, self-destruct, normal Terra. Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. It's 200 base power, which is absurd. 200 base power, that is wild. Just bananas. Just bananas. Actually, I should say 300 with stab right here. 300 base power? That's wild. That is wild. And your choice ban. He's going to protect. Do not double protect. Do not double protect here. I'd be so upset. I would have been so upset. Okay, so at least we can get off some damage with Regilecki. 
So let's see what he wants to do from here. We're going to actually outspeed Regilecki, which is weird. I mean, we are Swift Swim, but let's see how much damage we do. Let's see. Some self-destruct pop it out here. I'm kind of upset the Gyarados protect it. <laughs> well, let's see how much damage we can do to Regilecki. We bring it down to Sash. He would have KO'd it, which would have been awesome, but we end up just dying here. Which I don't really mind. I think we're still sitting in a decent position, considering I could just Aqua Jet that Pokemon next turn. We could really go from there. So he's going to hang on with Focus Sash. Probably going for E-Web. Yep, we're going to block it. Okay. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Like I said, if we keep Rain, we got Bashka Legion, and we also have Urshfu. And from here, I'm going to go Bashka Legion because I can just Aqua Jet Regilecki. Don't have to worry about him out speeding. Because I know Regilecki's, if they're maxed out on speed, could potentially be faster than this uh, Bashka Legion. So I'm not dealing with it. So from here, I'm going to Hurricane, and I'm just going to Aqua Jet up. Even though Regilecki might protect here. And I hope it does, just so we can just so we can get rid of it. So we have rain for a lot of turns after this, which is good. A lot of turns. I think we get it for eight turns with Damp Rock, so we pretty much have it for most of the match. And he ends up just protecting Regilecki. Okay. I understand. I feel you. I get it. Aqua Jet's going to get blocked. I doubt Gyarados can KO me, unless it's Rock and Crunch. Which, I mean, is a possibility. I'm going to go for an Ice Fang. We're able to soak up the Ice Fang. Hurricane's gonna land. How much damage are you doing on the Gary? Nice chunk of damage. Give me ducks. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Pokey Gods, for the ducks. Handing out free ducks. Of course, this thing's Lumberried. And it's gonna snap out of confusion instantly. So from here, we're dropping another Hurricane. We're just gonna go for another Aqua Jet. There's no reason not to do it. If you wanna swap Regilecki, that's fine. You can swap it. I'm not too worried about it. But Overquill got some work done already. I feel as we could be sitting in a driver's seat with this match. If we can just, uh... Get off this KO here on the Regilecki. So again, we have rain for a lot of turns coming. A lot. A lot of turns coming, we get rain. The only thing that really stops us is first turn priority, right? It's a little bit of an issue. Just a tad bit. So there's the withdrawal on the Regilecki, and who are you going to go into from here? Which Pokemon? So he's going to save Regilecki. He's going to go into Urshfu of, of his own. Which, I mean, kind of cool, I guess. Gyarados is just going to protect, and this guy's just trying to waste out rain. We got we got a long, long ways to go with rain. Aqua Jet's flying, doing some big time damage. And from here, I'm just going to stick with my Hurricane into the Gyarados slot, and I'm just going to wave crash. Do I wave crash down that, that Urshfu? Yeah, we might as well wave crash. We might as well guarantee the KO. So I'm going to Hurricane that, and I'll just go into a wave crash and finish off Urshfu. Cool. Oh, he couldn't sucker punch me. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. Oh, he detects. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I might the I might protect my uh I might protect my Basket Legion next turn, just hurricane that down. Just for an EQ. Slamming with EQs. Yeah, I really don't want to get hit by Sucker Punch and we we didn't catch on to it until the last one. But he drops the EQ. Basket Legion soaks pretty well here. Hurricane's gonna fly. It's gonna chunk up some nice damage. Almost KO. Can we get ducks? We do not get ducks. But from here, Hurricane, how many turns are left in rain? Four. Oh my god, that's plenty of turns. And I'm just going to protect this thing. Actually, I can Aqua Jet. If he wants to go for Sucker Punch, it's not going to hit me, because Aqua Jet's going to go first, which is awesome. I'm able to Aqua Jet. It's going to end up Terrasalizing. Wow. Into what? Straight Dark? What typing are you going into? Straight Dark. Hopefully, you're going for a Sucker Punch to my Bash Legion. I really feel as you're going to do that. The so Aqua Jet will go first, and then Sucker Punch will miss, which is big time. Aqua Jet finishes you off. Go for the Sucker Punch. You won't. You won't do it. You won't, mate. You won't do it, mate. Let's see it. Make it happen. Make it happen. There it is. Let's go. Good call for me to just go into the Aqua Jet first. The cool Hurricane now flies. Maybe he might be able to KO. Pelper's doing work. Paloops is doing work. Paloops is doing work. So, we have to deal with Regilecki here. Regilecki is a tad bit of a problem, but I think it might just protect, so I might just double down into uh, his final Pokemon, which is a very good option for us. Because Ting Lu's going to come out here, and they don't have Terrasalization. What do I do here? Regilecki's definitely protecting. I can almost guarantee Regilecki protecting. I mean, I don't really see Ting Lu KO on me. Actually, maybe a dark move. You know, I'm just going to protect. 
I'm gonna set up a Talon. I think Regilecki protects all day. I really do. I really do feel that. Yep, there it is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we protect while his Regilecki protects, and we're gonna set up Tailwind just for later purposes for speed. I like it for my Urshifu later in the match, even though we're Choice Scarf. If we do that, he's gonna go for a Stop and Cancer. We're gonna block it, and now that, that pretty much sets up sets us up for the win, right? We can Aqua Jet Regilecki down, kind of has to land double protect, and at the same time, we can just start start dropping Hurricanes into that slot. So looking for an Aqua Jet there, finish that thing off, and the Damp Rock was actually really, really clutch for us this match. Because they wasted out a ton of turns. A ton of turns with Rain. It was just eight turns is too much. It's too, there are too many turns to waste out. If we didn't have Damp Rock, they probably will start to take the match over. Hurricane flies here. We get rid of Regilecki. We're doing a little bit of damage. Any ducks? No ducks comes out here. Heavy slam. Doing nothing. And that's pretty much game. We have two turns left in rain. Two. Actually, one. He could protect it. He could protect this, but Wave Crash should be able to do a huge chunk of damage on this thing. I think our opponent might just cancel. We still have Urshfu in the back end. And match number one was a good one. Battle was canceled. There it is. 1 0. Let's hop through a second match. Try to use Overquill a little bit more. Second match on its way, and we're going up against a Trick Room Squad. Going up against a Trick Room Squad, and this one's looking pretty tough, right? It's definitely looking pretty tough, considering they got the Nihilate, they got the Farigoraph to stop her first turn priority. They have Cresselia, who is an amazing Pokemon. They also have Heatran, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Iron Hands and Amoongus. So a really strong Trick Room team. I don't really know how we can like get around this. It's going to be tough. It's definitely going to be tough. And I think maybe Shen Pao and Bash Legion could be a solid lead for us, right? We can dodge fake outs. We have the ghost typing. I really do like that all around. We can bring the choice band over cool in the back end. And then last but not least, having Urshifu is going to be great as well. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win in match number two. But this one's going to be tough. This one is going to be a tough one. <laughs> this one's a problem. Trick room teams are such a problem. I feel like they can try to set up really easily. I mean, they could have final gambit on Annihilate like most trick room teams do. They also could have a uh, fake out on the Iron Hands, like most Iron Hands do. There are a lot of different options, so he's going to end up sending out these two. These two little boogers. So, I mean, Rage Powder, maybe a Terrasalization could be the play. Maybe Water Amoongus. Right? A lot of different options, and I feel like Water Amoongus might be the play. Um, we Terra? No, we don't Terra. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll go for an Ice Spinner. How much damage last specs doing? Nothing crazy. This one's tough. Would have been nice to go into like explosion overcool here, right? I think it might terrestrialize. Let's see. Is that a Moongus going water? It's gotta be going water, right? Yeah, it's going water. Yep, a water terror. It's so good on Moongus so good now we can't really do much up against it that's why i went to the last respect might rage powder here too yeah great plays from our opponents great play I told you this one's gonna be tough trick room setting up trick room up against me right now is pretty simple the ice spinner's not doing too much last respects how much damage you doing nice little chunk but trick room's here now i can put legit any pokemon to sleep and you have a berry so annoying so annoying with the berry the trick room is here. Um, I could protect the Shen Pao. I could definitely protect the Shen Pao. And actually, oh, I was going to say I can go into Sucker Punch, but I can't. I'm going to protect Shen Pao, and I'm going to look to just get off as much damage as I possibly can on the Frick Graph. Because I think the Spore is going into the Shen Pao slot, rather than the Basket Legion. But yeah, this one, mm, not looking so hot. It's not looking so hot here. Trying to figure out ways around this trick room. Because now we're stuck inside the Trick Room. <coughs> now we're stuck with the Trick Room, and I don't really know how to get out of it. We have to waste these turns out. <coughs> Iron Hand's going to come out here. I mean, we are wave crashing into that. It does have Quirk Drive as well. Oh, no. And he can fake me out next turn. Please spore my Shen Pao. Please spore my Shen Pao. Do not spore my Bash Legion. Let's see how this one plays out here. They just get a free sleep. It's always a Pokemon I, I don't protect, right? It's always a Pokemon I don't protect. So big time Spore comes out here. He can fake me out. Um, do I Terra here? Let's swap. It's like Overquill. Mm. 
I mean, I can definitely use, like, Sash here. They're probably gonna put me to sleep here as well. But now I'm free to Sucker Punch. I mean, there's no point of Sucker Punching. There's n no shot he goes for an attacking move, right? This one's, man, this one's pretty much over. <laughs> I don't know what I can do about this. Double Spore. Oh my lord, don't be that person, don't be that person. Double Spore me? And the Trick Room Wild Charge gonna fly here. I was gonna protect him too, and I ended up choosing not to, because I thought he was gonna fake out Shen Pao. I really did. I'm just gonna get Spored again. I don't know what to do here. I really just don't know how to do this. How am I, how should I play this? I don't have to protect on any of these guys either. I simply don't know what to do here. I do not know what to do here. I just don't know what to do. We're in the worst position ever. I'll go for protect. Um, I will go for self-destruct, but he's going to put me to sleep. You're putting me to sleep, right? Like... Shen Pao does wake up. Okay. Can I get off this self-destruct? Don't put me to sleep. This should not be a thing. This just shouldn't be a thing. This just shouldn't be allowed. At all. Should not be allowed. This just shouldn't be allowed. I just don't understand. Should not be allowed. Now I'm choiced into it. Actually, I'm not choiced anymore. They didn't actually use the move. Um... I think I might terrestrialize now. I mean, he might be choosing a wild charge. He hit me with wild charge, and I really don't want to waste a Terra. How many turns left in his trick room? Wasting out pretty well here. One. I go for the double protect land. I think I just straight up attack. Go for sucker punch. I mean, he's, he's gonna put me to sleep again. Oh my lord! I'm going to sleep again. I do not know what to do here. This is just an issue, right? This is a big time issue. Now we're going for gunk shots. What is going on? Is this really what I gotta deal with all day? In match number two? This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. Can you wake up, Everquill? The Shrikram's gone. Shrikram is gone. Oh, my lord. Alright, we pretty much need Everquill to wake up this turn, because... If not, it's, we're just we're just done for. Trick room is gone. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. Um, I need to go after Moongus here. I'm double down on Moongus. Can you wake up Everquill? Cool? Thank you. Thank you, Landis. Oh, that's Shen Pao waking up. Everquill, cool, wake up. Oh, yeah. W Landis. Landis, gunk shot. I needed you. I needed you. Because this guy's going to throw another spore in my face. I'm telling you, another spore's coming. Don't do it. Don't be don't be that person. Don't go for five spores. Pollen puff. That's gonna KO me, but still. Hurts the soul. Four spores. Alright. We're still in this match somewhat. Not really. We still trying here. So I'm going into my boy. I'm going into my boy. I still have Terra too. But I think we're water terror, aren't we? Are we water terror? We are. I might as well send it and I might as well try to get rid of this, uh. I might as well try to get rid of this, uh, this Hariyama. And they did withdraw the Moongus. They did withdraw the Moongus. Hold up. Wait a minute. If we can get rid of this Iron Hands here, there could be a shot. There could definitely be a shot. There could definitely be a shot. I don't think there's a shot. But we can't get swept. We actually haven't taken out a Pokemon yet. But how could I? I've been slipped, slept five times, right? Five times. Absurd. Four or five times? Just wild. So we go for as much damage as we could possibly get off. We're trying to get rid of this Pokemon right here. I need my Gunk Shot to land. We missed the first one, so second one should be a shoo-in for landing, right? I don't really miss two Gunk Shots in a row. Yeah, cool. Second one's gonna land. We're choice banned into that. No, we're not getting swept. We're not getting swept. So now we're here. They got Ferrigarath. They got Cress. Um, they got two Pokemon that can actually set up Trick Room. Moongus comes back out here. We already know exactly what they're doing. 
They're going into the... They're going into the, the trick room kind of thing. The Rage Powder trick room. And they pretty much have it set up, right? I mean, we might be able to KO Amoongus. This one's a doozy. This one is a doozy. We don't have Protect on our Overcool either. It's terrible. But there's the Rage Powder. That pretty much locks it up, right? That locks up the match. Certain Strikes can come out here. Not gonna do too much damage. But Gunk Shot should be able to finish this thing off. But that's just upsetting. We played pretty well there. It was just like, like, what what can you do when you're asleep for five turns? Not even five turns. Like, you, got, you use Spore, I think, five times. In a row. In a row, which is absurd. But Gunk Shot's gonna land again. We're gonna take out Amoogus. They're gonna set up yet another Trick Room. And both my Pokemon are weak to Psychic. And, yeah, they're both Psychic Pokemon. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, it's just this one's over. Do I run and just save my poor little Overquill? I think that's our best bet. I wish I could switch into self-destruct because I definitely would have did it that turn. Just, just implode it. <laughs> but out comes the giraffe. Um, we're choosing the certain strikes. And I guess I, I guess I'll, I'll try to get after it. But Overcool's dead. Hyper Voice flying here. Overcool's gone. Yeah. Overcool's gone. Overcool would have ate that. That would have been sweet. But yeah, this one's just this one's wraps. Gonna throw it spray up. It's still got four more turns left in Trick Room now. Moonblast is going to fly. And we will get off one more turn. But it's not going to do it. be anything crazy. So out comes the Surgeon Strikes. Bring him down to about half. But I'm just going to run this one after, afterwards. One more Hyper Voice will take me out. Yeah, game set match. But still, that's some big time damage. That is some big time damage. GG's to our opponent. We're going to run this one. We are one and one. Let's go hop into our third. Not get put to sleep and win that one and grab ourselves a winning record. Final match on its way. And let's grab ourselves a winning record. Going up against a weirdly odd team, right? Might not be leveled up. We might just steamroll through it, but I'm down to dominate here. They got Amoongus, Sableye, Palmot, Bronzong, Mousehold, and then Chespin second stage. It seems like it's going to be too easy for us, right? I'm just going to self-destruct here and just KO the two Pokemon. And then I'm going to just steamroll the, bath, the, the rest, right? It seems pretty simple for me. Right? It seems pretty simple. But we deserved an easy match considering what we just went up against. Right? That was that, that, that was tough. That was tough. <laughs> like, come on, man. We wasted out Trick Room, but the sleeps just did me dirty. They did me so dirty. I think Spore should not be like 100% accuracy, right? They got to do something about that. Drop it to like 90. Drop it to like 80. Make it so like every here and there it'll miss. It should not be able to just sleep, 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 sleep. Because once you get this Pokemon Trick Room, it's game, set, match. But they do go into Sableye, who is a ghost type. So making me not want to go into self-destruct. I'll stick with the gunk shots. Get off some big time damage. And actually... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to stick with the gunk shots. So I'm going to gunk shot that down. And I'm just going to throw... Actually, I'll gunk shot this... Save lie down, even though it's not very effective. Ice Spinner can just rip into a Moongus. He's gonna end up. Oh, he's got something, something crazy going on here. No way your pranks are put me to sleep. Wait, what just happened? Who he tried putting to sleep? He tried sporing somebody. Wait a minute. Oh, you tried Prankster sporing my Overquill. That's what you get. I'm sick of these sleeps. That's a cool combo, but tried Prankster putting my Overquill to sleep. But since we're Dark type, Prankster does not work on my Overquill. So, love it. I love it. What is up with everyone trying to put me to sleep today? Just absurd. We don't like it. We don't like it. Actually, we're going to stick with the Gunk Shots over on this slot. The Sacred Sword will pretty much KO the Mouse Hold. Wait, what is up with that? So many spores today. We'll see he's gonna fly here. From Mousehold, probably Technician. That did a nice little chunk of damage. If you land five, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Probably Wide Lens here as well. Oh, we get a crit there too. Chill on me, Mousehold. Chill. Chill. Oh, that's all five. That's all you get, Mousehold. I think he's fast too. Sacred Sword's gonna fly. We get rid of it. Cool. Awesome. Dope. You were gone. You were gone. Well, oddly cool team though. Getting some work done. But Gunk Shot is gonna land. Like I said, you don't really miss two Gunk Shots in a row. 
doing some big time damage on a not very effective Sableye. And this thing is going to eject button out, even though it has to come right back in. <laughs> they only have two Pokemon left. So it's just swapping out for the heck of it, right? It's just going to go on the other side. So he's just doing a little side swapping. He's just swapping his side. Just just going to the other side. It doesn't have a final Pokemon. It's Quillet there right here. And I have an odd feeling this thing's Evo Light and it has like a weird kind of play style with it. Because this opponent, like, it's not like his whole team's like under leveled and everything. It seems like he was trying to pull off some crazy combos here, right? But I'm just going to gunk shot it down. I'm just going to go into an Ice Spinner. That should be GG. Oh, you have Regenerator now. This thing has Regenerator now. So the Eject Pack was for a certain situation. He fakes me out here. And just dump on this thing with a gunk shot. Thank you. Get it out of here. Get this thing out of here. Get it going. What the heck is Quilladin doing in this match? No, I kind of like its design. But yeah, we dump on it. We're going to get the sweep. No problem whatsoever. That's going to be GG's. So I just go into another gunk shot. I go into an ice spinner. Opponent probably cancels the match. And we go 2 and 1. Show it to me. Give me the sweep here. Third and final sweep with the overquill. Yep, there it is. Battle's canceled. 2 and 1 for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, another winning record on the casual ladder. Got the showcase over cool today and had a ton of fun to use them, considering you could just self-destruct and blow up the whole entire field, which is always a good time. It definitely is always a good time. But the rest of this team is really, really strong. You got the Shen Pao and Dragonite combo. You got Pelipper to set the rain alongside with the Swift Swim Bash Collision and Urshu. Everybody knows one of the best regulation D. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash the like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.